You don't recall just minutes ago where you were passed out behind the wheel in the drive-thru? Uh -uh. When officers approached Rayshard Brooks in the parking lot of a Wendy's, there was concern he'd been drinking, though he was polite and complied with their demands. I can walk my, my sister's house is right here. He asked the officers if he could just leave his car overnight and walk away. Your mouth over the mouthpiece, but it's hard Instead, to officers requested a breathalyzer test. Well, stop. Very good. Police say he failed that test and placed him under arrest. Put your hands behind your back for me. That is when Brooks appears to resist. He and two officers drop to the ground. In the struggle, you can see him grabbing an officer's taser. Stop fighting! Stop fighting! Stop fighting! Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Brooks is able to get up, punches an officer, and breaks away as police try to stop him. As he runs, Brooks shoots the taser and misses. That is when one of the officers opens fire. I do not believe that this was a justified use of deadly force and have called for the immediate termination of the officer. The mayor also announced the resignation of the police chief. The killing drew protesters back into the streets. By nightfall, officers in riot gear were called in to disperse the crowd, though the scene of Brooks's death was destroyed. Rayshard Brooks, his children will continue to grow up for the rest of their life without a father now. We can file an insurance claim to ensure that this building is built back up. I don't condone this, but I understand it. Anti-black racism and anti-police brutality protests have continued for 20 days now following the killing of George Floyd. Though some say what happened in Atlanta may be different than what unfolded in Minneapolis. Uh, that video is disturbing to watch, but I'm not sure that it's as clear as what we've seen around the country on some of the other issues. The district attorney will decide by Wednesday on whether to pursue charges. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.